So first, uh, for strategies to mitigate uh, the physician mental health, I will first suggest to monitor and access their mental health. Uh, it's important to have in mind that if stress persists for longer than two to three weeks and interferes with functioning, they should definitely consider participating in formal mental health care treatment, including telepsychology or telepsychiatry. Uh, secondly, I would suggest to use some self-care tools such as seeking out and sharing social support, even with the, the um, social distancing, uh, checking in with other colleagues uh, to discuss your experience, uh, increasing supervision and college support. Also try to schedule time off work for gradual reintegration into personal life and to prepare some worldview change that may not be mirrored by others in one's life and definitely to avoid some negative coping strategies such as use of alcohol or illicit drugs or even suddenly making big life changes or keeping too busy or uh, viewing helping others as more important than self-care or not wanting to talk about work experience with others and other than that i would suggest to use some approach such as guided meditations we have um, many apps based mindfulness intervention that can be viewed and downloaded in their uh, in their cell phone i would also suggest to to do some physical activities even at home i know that uh, in memories line carrying they have like a program in which they recorded some strategies for patients and for providers on how they can do it even at home uh, I would also suggest some music therapy or even the expressive writing, the one that uh, they will just like try to write everything that is in their mind uh, to try to, to cope better with all these changes. So considering the coping mechanism that physicians will not, uh, uh, may use during this time, uh, for sure healthcare providers have an important role in addressing emotional outcomes. And it's interesting during their career, they have developed some strong skills to discuss about sensitive subjects, uh, including uh, break, breaking bad news or to, to talk about death or even to talk about prognosis. And they also have some skills to deal with the consequence of it when patients are suffering or even their caregivers. So they have like some strategies to deal with that. Uh, however, I know that it's not easy to discuss about all these topics and even uh, to deal with their emotional symptoms and for sure that all these healthcare providers are definitely not a cold heart uh, but in fact they are in in they're always trying to deal with patient suffering and to be physically and emotionally available to their patients so i would suggest to use all these skills that they currently use in their practice before covid 19 uh, to find a balance between COVID-19 and also how they can provide a comprehensive um, care and how they can take care of their own mental health. Yeah, so I will uh, reinforce the, the relevance of monitor their psychosocial needs. They really need to know uh, their unmet needs to, to know ex exactly how they can cope better with all these situations and to seek professional mental health assistance when they need. Um, I would also suggest to use all these strategies that I have mentioned before, such as my meditations or yoga or physical activities. Um, and all these uh, approaches will help them to regain a sense of control and to reduce uh, the anxiety of this difficult moment. I would suggest to create like a space to discuss their experience. Um, I think it will be very rich and important for all providers. They will try to find the best way to cope with all this hard challenge that they are living right now. Uh, to also favor like uh, some strategies to routinely screen their physicians to see how they are do, uh, dealing with all these situations and also how they are uh, starting their, their work and how they are going back to their house to see if there is any change and to provide some psych psychosocial support and mind board resource for their healthcare providers and, um, and also 
to create like a, to not to create, but at least to develop a self-care routine to manage all this stress and anxiety, to ensure uh, continued support. Um, and like a, in, in this kind of sense that the physician really know what, what is happening and what is going on with themselves. I would just suggest to, to keep in mind that uh, we are working as a team, so they can count with each other and everybody has some strengthness and some situations that they have a harder time to deal with. So if we work as a team, for sure, we'll find better resources and better ways to, to at least to, to find a balance in all these situations. Mm -hmm.